Frederick is, and uh, we're going to do a quick firing from the hip video today on um, vintage guitars and how they don't always be, have to be expensive to be really cool. Um, I want to pre CBS Stratocaster, it's amazing, so I feel like I can validate from having this opinion. Um, I'm not going to hang on that topic too long because it's as controversial as this, but what we're going to be looking at today is a Harmony H70 Meteor. Um, these guitars are not new to me. I've played Harmony before. I've owned a Harmony Stratotone and I really, really like them uh, for that kind of lo-fi, bluesy, grungy sound. They almost won't be beat. Um, so we're going to jump in. We're going to have a look at a few things to look out for when you're looking at them and why I think they're the way to go if you're looking for some vintage. Let's take a look. Okay, so when I was looking at this guitar, there was a few things obvious that I could see. Control knobs, not original, it doesn't mean the pots aren't, and the bridge. Um, both things, aesthetics, the bridge, actually, from my experience on these old harmonies, are uh, not great, um, so I would have changed that out anyway. The most important thing I was looking for were them, the pickups. Uh, I really enjoy these pickups. Um, so, yeah, that was, i seen it, this come as a trade against the fuzz. Um, can you believe that man? That's crazy, isn't it? What, what people and myself pay for fuzzes and what you can get, you know, in return. Um, I'll get some better shots of this in a minute. I, I just literally just turned up. So this video is like off the hip, as I said. Uh, the tuning packs are being changed and it's quite a hideous job if I'm honest on the back. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, but yeah, I took these out. First thing I done was took these out, turned them over dated them to 1961. So that's exactly what I wanted to see. If they weren't original, they would have been gone, the guitar would have gone back. There's also date codes inside here, but with harmonies, they're really difficult to date accurately. Um, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take these strings off because they're like cheese cutters. I think these strings are as old as the guitar. Um, I'm gonna clean up the fretboard with some Gorgamite. Uh, this stuff's great. If you've never used it, look for it. I'll clean up the fretboard, restring it, uh, take some nice photos, and then um, plug her in and show you how it sounds. But yeah, the, 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 the whole idea of this video was you can pick these up anywhere from, if you're lucky, about £700, uh, maybe less than that, and they do go up quite a bit more. But for me, these, these guitars are players. You've got to get one that's got the right neck. Neck needs to be nice on it. Uh, but you're not buying one of these to make for all original. You're buying this to play if you're looking at these guitars because they have a certain sound to them. I plugged her in quickly and yeah, man, it, it's very, very good. It's exactly what I wanted. Um, so I'll run through now the bits we're going to do and then at the end of the video, we'll have a listen to it. Um, I'll show you some photos and, and we'll get stuck in. We're good. So yeah, as I said, it's uh, the... The tuning bags has been uh, butchered. I don't know how well that's going to pick up, but um, they're really not straight. I mean, the dude who done that must have been way pissed or stoned or something because... Or he just couldn't get them in because of the original holes. Either way, man, I mean, that do not really bother me. Bother me. Um, if it really were to bother me in the future, I'd just have my mate Paul over at Retro169 fix this. There is also a crack at the back of the guitar that I was aware of. Um, let's see if I can pick this up. Run in here, I've looked at it, it doesn't go all the way through. Um, so I'm not bothered about it. Again, Paul at Retro169 has already told me that he could fix that if I wanted it to be fixed. Um, but yeah, as it stands, pretty cool I probably have that off I always take the guard off um, so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take the strings off and clean the fretboard okay so we got the guitar um, and we know the bridge has been uh, replaced sometimes when they replace the bridge they actually glue them into position which this one hasn't been at all uh, so it's usually an idea to mark it where, where you think it is, but I'm pretty sure I can get that right. Um, so I'm going to take these old cheese wires off. Uh, 
fact, I'm probably going to clip them. Um, because they are older than the moon. Um, so yeah, like I said, the thing with these kind of guitars that you really want to be looking for is um, is the pickups. The pickups are, the, you know, the main attraction to these kind of guitars. Um, I really like gold foil pickups. They have a beautiful, especially when the proper old ones are a little bit microphonic. You can get some really cool um, tones out of them. And they have a very unique sound. Um, it's weird how, like, a lot of these... There we go. A lot of these older guitars, you know, they've been made a bit more famous from players like Jack White, etc. If I got that right, Jack White, Jack Black. Um, you know, champion these, champion these guitars, uh, and the, actually, the prices have uh, gone up because of that, no doubt. Um, if I can get this bugger out, oh, they've done a smart loop by the looks of it. That one, not so much. So yeah, the things that I, I look for when I'm looking at these, uh, and by just the record, I'm, I'm no expert, man. You know, I've just read stuff on the internet. I think a lot of these people who say they're experts on the internet, there's only a few really are. Um, but there is so much knowledge on the internet that if you're willing to put a bit of time in, you can kind of educate yourself enough to know what to look for and what not to look for. Um, they changed, this is the earlier harmony, and the reason being is they changed the pickup style to the mustache pickups um, in the later models. So I knew this was an early one straight away, uh, which is cool. It was just my only four initial thought was whether it was actually uh, real or not, to which it is, which I'll show you in the photos. I should have videoed that, but you know, can't catch it all, I suppose. I'm having a bit of a nightmare with this one. Um, so yeah, the pickups is what I was really after, and I was very happy to see that they were they were real. Um, so other bits really is just up to you how original you want it to be. For example, you know the if you want original knobs on it, or if you want you know original bridge, but it's all a bit tackle tat. You know, to me, if, if with these kind of guitars, you, these guitars, if, you, if you're looking at these guitars, this isn't an investment. This isn't for a dealer. This is for a player who wants a certain sound. Um, and that's why these guitars are really cool, because you can still pick them up very affordable. And they are vintage. Um, so who knows, man? Maybe in the future, the price will go up. But for now, you know, you're buying them to play them. Um, I'll come back to this in a minute, otherwise the video is going to be way too long. But I'm going to show you what this Gorgon mic does. Okay, this is really cheap and easy to use again. Um, I've had this piece for it for ages. It's probably past the sell-by date soon now. You just rip off a little square, whatever you choose to use. And um, work your way down the frets. And you'll see, I'm guessing by the looks of this, this uh, hasn't been cleaned if ever, because it's rank. Um, and this will soften, not soften, but this will certainly make it feel easier. I mean, look at that already. This is pretty, pretty rank. <laughs> and that's somebody else's gunk, um, which is a big turn off. But, you know, it shows that the guitar's been played. Um, but yeah, I'll always do this if I can on the fretboards. The frets on this guitar seem all right. There's not a massive amount of life on them, but they weren't like jumbo ones like Strats. Just uh, this, these were entry level guitars. And once you start playing enough guitar, you realize that essentially it's what you put into the guitar. You know, they will give you different bits and different tones out, but yeah. If you're a player and you're looking for a certain tone, you don't have to be tens of thousands of pounds. You know, and you don't have to have plums in your mouth to uh, to talk about them or go into a forum because uh, of that whole Stratocaster thing. And Gibsons can get quite, yeah, plums in the mouth and 
Those guys are real critical, man. And you know, and rightly so, if that's their thing. But we're just cleaning this up. Let's see what it's like. This guy like to play chords up here. Because there's... You can see this coming off. There's a... There's quite a lot of wear up on them top frets, but not much down here. So this this probably, from the feel of it, might have just been a rhythm guitar player, a rhythm guitarist. Because a lot of chord work has happened, but hardly any lead lines. Just by the how much these frets, how much life these have got in them compared to this. And again, like I said, these were entry level guitars at the time. So for people just stand to uh, learn guitar, and um, they would have just been learning chords. Maybe that's how I had this whole life. I don't know, but this is cleaning up quite nicely. There's quite a few cracks on the body as well on the front. Lacquer's gone, there's a ding there. You know, scratches in various places, but it's, it's real, you know? it's uh, You can't fake this kind of finish, I don't think. You I mean, you can get relics, and I love relic guitars. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but I personally really like a relic guitar when it's done right. Um, but this kind of finish, you can't, you just can't fake. Everything is very real on it. You can see the look at that. Um, that's probably one of the dirtiest fretboards I think I've ever cleaned. But like I said, from 1961, I don't know if that would have ever got cleaned. I'm gonna tuck into another piece here. Um, it certainly feels like it's never had a good clean. This, like this stuff as well, man, it, it does make, it, in my opinion, it makes a guitar feel like it plays better as well. Um, there's loads of different versions of this out, like uh, a lot of people have like instrument food out. Look how dirty that's less. This is gonna be boring, sorry guys, I didn't think it'd take this long. Thought we'd had a quick clean, but I wanna go at it properly and get it all off. Uh, while it was, the camera's running, I'll just, I'll probably put these on. Kurt Mangan, 11 to 50s. Uh, Demo sends me these out, little hookup. These are great strings, and not because Demo sent me out. I choose them. I choose them or Pyramid. I really like Pyramid strings. I also like DR Blue strings. I really, really like those strings. Um, but only 10 gauge in those. The 11 gauge feel weird. But the 11 to 50 on them is good. I'm gonna 11 50 this. I'm gonna probably tune it flat because they felt like they were 10s and I don't have to mess around or put any additional pressure on the neck that might not have been there. Okay, so I'm gonna finish tidying this up and get it strung on and then we'll get we'll look back into it, okay? Okay, so we got the um, the fresh strings on there. I'm gonna reposition the bridge. I have moved it slightly, so I might have to just intonate it a bit more. Um, and then I'm gonna plug it in and we're gonna see how it sounds together. Um, the pickups I've just fastened right down. They've got like little springs, they're not really height adjustable. They started making them more height adjustable and pole adjustable after 62, I think. Uh, so this is a 61, between 58 and 62, they had these style pickups and then you had the mustache style. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do all the little bits now. I'm gonna plug it into the vibe reverb and I'm gonna see how it sounds. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. 